is the TDP News live on TDP TV. I'm Joanna Basu with my colleague Nana Efia Aqua. The news is sponsored by Actress Media Institute and Chai Fence. In the headlines, government cannot sustain economy on treasury bills. Tech per once. I feel like relocating to a pro LGBTQ plus nation. Ghanaian gay cries out after passage of bill. Now on the news in detail. Following the passage of the anti LGBTQ plus bill on February 28, 2024, members of the same sex community in the country are voicing concerns for their safety and well being. A number of them say they feel unsafe in their own country with some expressing fears that their lives are now at stake. Speaking to BBC, one individual shared his anxiety saying, I'm so scared, very scared, and I don't know my fate. My life is at stake. It will be my end in Accra. Another person highlighted the bill's impact on his employment and personal life. My life was a bit better before this whole bill started. I lost my job because I was gay. In my previous workplace, my madam had sacked me. I feel like relocating from the country itself to any LGBTQ plus friendly country which is safe for me to live in. He asserted. Moving on, Ghana's former finance minister said Tepe is advising the government to prioritize responsible debt management and explore alternative funding sources beyond short-term treasury bills. According to him, the country stands in danger by relying largely on T-bills for financing. He made these remarks during a dialogue on Ghana's International Monetary Fund program. He said, we cannot sustain the economy on treasury bills because treasury bills are for three months, so at the end of the three months, we must pay. In other stories, chairman of the New Patriotic Party's campaign team, Dan Bucci has expressed worry over John Dramani Mohammed's lack of vision. According to him, the former president stayed in opposition for eight years but hasn't been able to come up with anything new to convince the people of Ghana to return to office. One would have thought that you would be in power for eight years. You are the former president. You were rejected in 2016. You came back in 2020. You were rejected again. And you still want to come back in 2024. So you have a whole eight Eight years to do an analysis of what made Ghanaians reject you. What were our policies? What was at play? He indicated that they will pull all resources to ensure that they are victorious and make history as the only political party to break the eight year cycle in Ghana's history. Moving on to the international news, more than 50 journalists have sent an open letter calling on Israel and Egypt to provide free and unfettered access to Gaza for all foreign media. The letter is signed by correspondents and presenters for broadcasters with UK bases, including the BBC's Jeremy Bowen, Liz Doucette and Michelle Hussein. It says the need for comprehensive on-the-ground reporting is imperative. Israel's military says its troops have taken journalists on escorted trips in Gaza to allow them to report safely. To end the news, a recap of the headlines. Eight years in opposition, yet your only message is 24-hour economy. Dan Boche blast Mahama. Journalists call for foreign media access to Gaza in open letter. That's all for TVP News. I'm Nana Ifia Akwawe. Joanna Basie. The news was sponsored by Arches Media Institute and Chai Fans. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, comment, and share. Stay tuned for more news updates.